Hi, so it's Granny Green Socks here, getting some harvest, wondering what to do with it. The wind's ravaged quite a lot of these broad beans, but luckily they're ready to pick. And actually they're still quite firm, so I think some sap must be getting through, even though this thing's bent over at 90 degrees. They're quite little, but they are meant to be small. Hard to pick peas one-handed. This broccoli is actually so high. <laughs> and the whole tunnel is full of crane flies, which have obviously hatched out in here and can't get out. There's also a moth. I don't know how that moth got in. What's the point of me putting a net up if all the creatures in the world can just get through it? The beans are looking yellow. I sprinkled fish blood and bone all over the straw and watered it in. And the same with the butternut squashes. The climbing French beans, some of them seem to be doing okay and some of them have disappeared. Uh, most of the stations have got at least one bean. This one, I think something's eaten it. For some reason there's three here. I don't know if I might be able to dig a couple out and transplant them if necessary. It might be easier just to plant some more in a pot. The difference in germination rate is quite remarkable between the things I've planted straight into the ground and things I've grown under glass at home. I planted two rows of beans here ages ago and I thought they weren't coming up at all. They're finally coming up, but not all of them. See, these are the same type of beans. I had them in the propagator for 24 hours so they germinated. They're not more than four days old and look how big they are. I'm going to pick one of these lettuces and try and make lettuce soup. Although I can't quite believe it's going to taste of anything. Lettuce doesn't have any taste, does it? I've got to use them somehow, though. So here's Leith's cookery bible. And here's her recipe for lettuce soup. But oh no, it's lettuce and dill soup. I don't have any dill. And white stock? Don't you find recipe books so frightfully annoying when you've got some produce from the garden and you want to do something with it? and you look for a recipe that only uses that produce and oh no, you've got to go out and buy all sorts of other stuff to make it work. So how about lettuce and sprouting broccoli and bean soup? Do you think that would work? So my recipe for lettuce soup is as follows. Chop one onion and fry it up in some oil. Take a load of leftover vegetables that you want to use up. In this case, a parsnip, a small carrot, some old Jersey Royals that didn't taste as special as they were meant to taste, and some garlic. Something strong flavoured. If you haven't got any dill, fennel will probably do. And a bunch of lettuce that's just beginning to bolt. Chop all the vegetables and add them to the onions. And just keep frying them gently and stirring them around a bit. Also chop the lettuce and the fennel. You want the root vegetables to soften up, so put the lid on and let them sweat on a low heat. Meanwhile, pod your broad beans and peas into a bowl. And after washing all the moths out of your broccoli spears, chop them into little pieces. And when the root vegetables have sweated a bit, add the lettuce. And the fennel. When your lettuce has reduced down, add a bit of water. Bring to the boil and then cover and simmer until everything's tender. When they're all soft, whiz them up. This has actually come out a lot thicker than I intended because what I'm going to do is make it into a smooth soup with some cream and then add my beans and things but it's going to be more like a pottage than a soup so I think I have to add more water. Lots of salt and pepper. 
this is actually looking really good as a soup now. So I think what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to blanch them, let them cool and use them as a salad tomorrow. Well, that soup was actually very delicious, although I think it might have owed a bit to the parsnip and the cream and not so much to the lettuce. But it's one lettuce dealt with anyway. And some salad to look forward to. So, see you next time. Bye.